What's up guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the RX-8 performance motor mounts that I installed in my RX-8 after my old mounts collapsed. So the reason I installed these motor mounts was because they're actually the same price as the OEM mounts that I could get. So I was like I might as well try these performance mounts out, um, see how they are and then I can review them for you guys, see if I recommend them or not. Um, a big concern with these solid motor mounts is that they're going to have some vibrations at idle and maybe just regular driving, so they're not a good idea for having a daily driver. With these, um, I bought the RX-8 Performance ones because they said there was no metal-to-metal -metal contact, so there's limited vibrations, and I'm like, well, it could be risky, but I'm willing to take that risk for my daily driver. Ooh, it's a nice 911 up there. So yeah, I bought the mounts. I put them in because my old mounts were collapsed and I, every time I shifted into second from third, it downshifted. Um, the transmission wasn't aligned and there was just some big problems like... it wasn't going in sometimes it wouldn't even go in reverse so with the new motor mount you can feel a difference so not only is the shifting just a ton better and it's not grinding but like when I get on the gas like you can feel that torque without any of the vibration and it's pretty amazing like I'll give you an example real quick like right right when you hit that pedal like you get that instant throttle response and you can feel that power going to the wheels like it's it's pretty hard to describe but you can feel it like, oh my god it it makes a world of difference over my collapsed mount I can tell you that even before my mounts collapsed though and I had that problem uh, it's definitely better than that too so, do I recommend them? Yes, I do. Um, if your OEM mounts are perfectly fine though, do I recommend them? And that, that's where it gets a little bit more complicated. So, I bought the steel, the regular mild steel ones from RX-8 Performance, not the aluminum ones, the lightweight ones. Um, and they were $255 plus shipping, so it came around $262 or $272, somewhere around there. Um, that's quite a bit of money to, put, to be putting in an RX-8, because RX-8s, like, you can get them used now, $7,000, even as low as four dollars or $5,000, depending on how many miles they are. But something around, like, this year, this miles, I got, like, 82,000 miles on it. It's about... 7000 So to be spending $255 on motor mounts when you don't need them, that's something, that's a little iffy. I would say if you're daily driving it and you just want that extra boost, I actually wouldn't recommend them. That's, that's money that you probably shouldn't be spending on motor mounts when you can do other things that you might like a little bit better, like suspension. Uh, I haven't tried like strut bars, but I can try that too, so I don't really know along there, but you could do exhaust, um, oil of course, and gas, like you might as well just save that, because uh, it's better just put your priorities towards maintenance, fluids, all that kind of stuff, because that's way more important than motor mounts, but if you do have that extra that you want to spend on motor mounts, then you can go for it. Because when you do hit the gas, it, it feels better. Like, it, it really does. So, back to another reason that you might want to get these over perfectly good OEM mounts is if you're tracking your RX-8, uh, autocross, or definitely drifting. I think these would definitely be important for drifting when you need that torque to the wheels. So, if you're doing one of those three things, I think these motor mounts would actually be a good investment over your stock or OEM mounts, even if they're not damaged in any way. 
Um, for drifting also, I would recommend a lightweight flywheel. Um, I have a review of that on my channel as well. So, in conclusion, I'd say the motor mounts are good, yes. But if your mounts are already fine, they're not collapsed or damaged or worn out, then I wouldn't recommend buying them if you're just daily driving your RX-8 or just taking it out for just to cruise the back roads. It feels better, but it's not that much better that it's worth the price of replacing mounts unless they're damaged already. So if you're thinking about getting them and your mounts are damaged, I would definitely go with it, hands down. But if your mounts are perfectly fine, I just say hold off and save that money on for oil and gas. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. This car is great. I don't know why people swap them. You really don't need to. They're just so much fun. <laughs>